Well, hello there, Scorpio. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your mid-April reading. This is good from now until mid-May. We'll take a look at the overall energy with the Oracle cards on the move to the Tarot for more details about any obstacles on your path or areas of resistance. And of course, advice from spirit. So let's see what's on the horizon for you. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. And one butt spirit, be at home. Okay, now we have um, a full moon in Scorpio coming up here very, <laughs> very shortly. Um, this is very much about you going within, okay? This is the hermit energy, very much this energy of going within and listening to your own heart, um, as, you know, working with your spirit guides, um, your angels, your allies, Helping yourself to, um, you know, this is like a transformative energy. And, you know, you are, you are the transformation um, energy in the zodiac. Yeah, I feel like you're walking away. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. I feel like you do have to walk away from something. So let's see what we have here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull one more card here. Let's see what we have. Yep, and the transformation card came out. Okay, so there's your card. All right, so underneath we have the, the King of Wands, the Four of Swords and the Emperor. Very much divine masculine energy, okay? And then what we have is you're coming out as the Empress, right? And there is this energy where your obstacle is this yin and yang, okay? Divine masculine, divine feminine, okay? And the Justice card. So it's kind of like there's an imbalance here. OK, whether it's in a relationship that you have with somebody else where one of you, OK, is standing up as the divine masculine and the other is the divine feminine. And it's not about gender. Right. It's about the energy. But here's the thing. I feel like the divine masculine energy here is extremely strong. Oh, almost overpowering. But I feel like this divine masculine is also doing some work perhaps on themselves. But here's the thing, especially if you feel like you're in a twin flame connection, okay? And even if you're not, the thing is, is that the divine feminine does her healing when a, a, a couple, okay, <laughs> is in separation, the divine masculine, divine feminine are in separation. And the divine masculine does his healing. And it's not necessarily a him, okay? But I'll just say the divine masculine does their healing when they are together. When the divine masculine and feminine are together. This is very much the energy where you, I feel, are the divine feminine energy. You're showing up as the divine feminine energy and willing to walk away from this situation a relationship. It does not have to be romantic, okay? So it could be, it's definitely somebody that you're super close to, right? A, a contract, a soul contract here, um, a soulmate. So it could be, you know, um, a, a dear friend. It could be a romantic partner. It could also be, you know, it just, uh, it could be even a boss, okay? If you feel like you have a little bit of that dynamic, with another, you know, a business partner or something like that. And it could even be a family member, okay? So it's somebody that you would have kind of like a soul contract with that you feel like you have a little bit of this energy. But for most of you, it's probably a romantic connection. And the divine feminine is walking away. And I think the divine feminine is walking away <laughs> because the divine masculine, okay, is a, a little bit in this energy of kind of being a little powerful. The King of Wands is the energy of somebody that does 
what the king of wands wants to do, male or female, right? Kind of like, yeah, I, I'm, I want it my way and this is the way I'm doing it. And the emperor, of course, wants to be in control. This is Aries energy too. But the divine masculine, I feel like, is kind of trying to perhaps heal within. And and you're, but you could be in a connection and you're kind of like, yeah, I'm walking away from this because you, it's time to heal some of that. Really kind of interesting because your biggest obstacle here is that you're not really sure about being in this connection. There is this energy where you're kind of like, I feel more empowered when I'm not in this connection. I feel like you're feeling a little bit a, a, a little bit like truly in your divine feminine energy, embracing it, loving who you are and going towards what it is that you want. And I feel like for some of you, you may feel like the divine masculine is holding you back, right? Either wanting you to spend more time dedicated to them or dedicated to something, you know, a business that you have together or whatever it is, That's kind of, or your relationship, but you have other people and places that you want to go. And it's kind of like allowing yourself, <coughs> excuse me, you can be having a hard time expressing yourself because my third chakra is kind of closing up here, right? Going within and finding out what it is that you truly want for yourself. And because I feel like you're kind of fearful that this, this situation can't work for you at this time. And it doesn't mean that you kind of like, you know, let's see what we have here. Yeah. You have the, the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Gemini energy of, <coughs> uh, um, of the lovers. So on the table, you know, other signs that we have, we definitely have the Scorpio, we have Virgo, we have Aries, we have Sag, we have Libra, and we have Gemini, okay? And Leo, I have Leo here too, okay? So you could be dealing with one of those signs, but you don't have to be. But I think one of the things is, is that the truth that you're kind of coming into light, this is where going within and you could have had some epiphany with the eclipses the truth of the matter is is that what you want is a deeper emotional connection and i'm not sure that at this time okay the divine masculine can give you that the divine masculine is very much kind of like in control of their emotions right and the other thing is with the King of Wands, it's kind of like, I don't have time for the emotions. The King of Wands is off to the next thing, right? The King of Wands is very adventurous, you know, very much Sagittarian energy, going out there, doing what it is that they want to do. Not really so much um, in the energy of being a King of Cups. A King of Cups is somebody that you know, is emotionally involved in a relationship, emotionally, deep emotions, somebody that you can share your deepest and darkest secrets with, right? And, you know, Scorpio, you, you have that energy here of, of wanting that and yet being fearful. You know, you have woman holding a heart, five of swords, right? And transformation. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think you have you have the stuck energy. I feel like for some of you, you may feel like you're a little bit stuck in a situation, but you have the and you have it all tied up. I feel like there's a little bit of understanding going within, understanding that there's another door, right? Yeah, death. <coughs> I feel like for some of you, you have something to say that you haven't been able to say. And I feel like it's emotional. King of Cups, <clears throat> right? Um, is some emotion that maybe you feel that you can't share with this person, that you're you're afraid for some reason with the Five of Swords, right? Of 
what may may occur, okay? If you share your emotions with this person, it's a, very much an energy of wanting to get something off your chest, kind of, and not being able to to say it. But this is <clears throat> this is definitely the energy of working through it because I feel like I'm having to work through this reading, right? My voice is definitely wanting to give out. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, five of wands. Yeah. For some of you, it could be a third party situation that you're you're dealing with. We had, you know, two divine masculines here. Now we have two divine feminines. But it, once again, it doesn't matter gender wise. But I feel like for some of you, you may feel. Okay, there's two messages I'm getting here. For some of you, you could be in a third party situation and you're done with it, but you're having a hard time saying, no, I'm closing this out. I'm ready to move on. I'm, you know, I, I deserve more than what I'm getting in this situation. For others of you, I feel like you feel as if you can't be your real self around this divine masculine, okay? That, you know, the divine masculine is very traditional, King of Pentacles energy, interesting. He's been coming out a lot lately. So the King of Pentacles is somebody responsible, reliable, <laughs> you know, family oriented, you know, uh, financially stable, good with money, generous, that type of thing, right? So <clears throat> you have that person, right? And I feel like for some of you, you feel like you may have to kind of like show up in a certain way around that person, but it's not really who you truly are. I feel like for some of you, you're more of the queen of wands, but you feel like you have to be the queen of swords when you're around this person or vice versa. But it's kind of like, you don't feel like you can be your real self around this person. And that's, that is the, the crux of it. You, you feel like you can't share who you really are with this person. Because I feel like you're concerned. There could be even something that you're kind of like hiding about yourself, right? Um, you know, a Scorpio is, you know, known to kind of keep secrets and that's okay. You know, you, you hold, you're private. Let's put it that way. You're very, very private. But I feel like for some of you, you could be even kind of like, there's something that you would like to share with this person and you don't feel like it's it, like you don't have a type of relationship that you feel safe to share what it is that you want to share with this person, perhaps a deep, dark secret, you know, and it's kind of like, I don't feel or your emotions, your feelings about the relationship, but you feel like you can't do it. And that is what you're seeking. So for some reason, in this case, right, the divine masculine or the king of pentacles is somebody that you feel like you can't truly share what it is that you want to share with this person, you know, worried about what may happen, the fallout, <clears throat> but going within and asking yourself, is that the type of relationship you want to be? Okay, so let's pull a soul truth card here for some final advice. And Scorpio, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, uh, wow, these cards want to talk. If you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Okay, let's see what we have here. We'll let the cards settle. Here we go. Where can I create more space? Instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, create more sacred space in your schedule, in your home, your mind, your lungs, and in your heart. Take time to just be. Do a cluttered detox of your schedule, home, and innermost self. Make space. Clarity will come. Yeah, and this is very much, you know, the energy of this, of allowing yourself to make space, to go within, to find that answer, you know, Perhaps the relationship you're in is a relationship where you really could share your your yourself, your vulnerable your vulnerable side of yourself, your emotional side of yourself with this person, right? But maybe it's just kind of like allowing yourself some time to get the clarity about how to express yourself, right? 
Um, or for some of you, I feel like, you know, this is the energy of going within and understanding this is a situation I'll never feel comfortable sharing, right? This is just not a person. There's nothing perhaps wrong, right, with the King of Pentacles. The, the, the King of Pentacles is just someone that's more involved in the 3D, okay, in the material things. And Scorpio, you are a spiritual being, right? It's understanding. I feel like perhaps part of you is like you can't share the spiritual side of yourself with this person. They're, they're very much more in the 3D world, right? And so it's kind of like understanding. This is a very big part of who you are, Scorpio, right? You are the death card. You are the transformational card. So it's kind of like understanding. Okay, I'm sorry, I had the wrong card. So it's kind of like understanding, okay, if this is a big part of who you are and you feel like you can't express it or live it, right? With the, the divine masculine, right? It's kind of like, okay, I'm not sure that this will work long term or trying to have that conversation with the person about how much your spirituality, how important it really and truly is to you and to allow you to have the time and the space to allow yourself to be spiritual. Yeah, and especially with the full moon and Scorpio coming up, right? I mean... I think for some of you around the full moon, you're going to, it's kind of like you may want to do a full moon ceremony, but the divine masculine is kind of like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit of that energy is so interesting. I've had so many readings a little bit about that lately, about understanding that, you know, sometimes it's just really hard. It's not that we can't be around people sometimes that are really just based in the 3D, but they are much more shallow of relationships than the people that we are with that we can discuss our spirituality, right? Um, and, you know, I think for a lot of us, it's kind of like trying to find that soul tribe of people that we really can share who we really are spiritually with somebody, right? So it may not be a deep, dark secret. Your deep, dark secret may be your spirituality and what you really and truly believe. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Um, I love you so much. Thank you so much for all your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.